M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning how to use the new Yaesu FT5DR. FXB, so yeah, a quick overview on the Yaesu FT5D. So I'm in the UK, so it's the UK model, the E version. So overall, it's a nice looking radio. If you haven't already got a Yaesu FT3D, you're going to be very impressed with the, uh, the functions uh, that when you delve into this with GPS, Bluetooth, APRS, you know, VHF, UHF, new cam feature. It's a very nice looking radio, nice size, just the right size um, in your hand. You've got a belt clip that comes with it included. So there's your belt clip. I've already installed and there's a video showing how to install the actual holster and then the belt clip on the holster, which then clips onto the back of the radio, I'll show you that. Obviously the box is always very appealing with the Yesu boxes, they've just got a very nice design, the Yesu boxes. It's quite a neat little package, and uh, yeah, very appealing. And a nice instruction manual here as well. Uh, included in the box you get the, the USB cable for uh, firmware really, and obviously you get a power adapter, but you don't get the drop-in charger. So I'll just show you how the holster just sort of clips on now when the holster's on the radio, the radio doesn't stand. So anyway, we'll put it on like so, and it just sort of got a little clip here. You sort of pull it down and it clips on, there you go. So that's your holster on, but you know, it doesn't stand when it's on, okay? So <clears throat> we'll just take it off and it stands fine without it. And if you want, you can put the, the belt clip onto the radio, there's still you know, a couple of holes and it's the same battery as the FT2 and 3 for definite. The thing that's extra on this radio, you get a 1 watt speaker and it is louder. Um, well, quite a bad signal station there, but it is louder. And there's... They, There you go, and it is dual band radio, but dual band VHF, UHF, not dual band uh, C4 FM that you can hear. Um, you, you, you know, you can receive it, but you only hear one at a time. And then the thing that's extra is you can change the colour. You know, see, it's red on the FT5, you can't do that on the FT3. Uh, they've changed the configuration. They've got a quick entry system here. For what they call what is called the cam feature so if you hold down this pm button a pmg button look it adds you're adding up to five channels which you can name um and then you can you can literally select um so if we were on memory channels here if i go to a different memory channel on the a band to come out you just push it and then on the a band if i go to that memory channel hold the PMG button look you've got three there so when those memory channels are active you can just tap them so I think that quick entry way of doing that is, is good you know that was something I'm very pleased with the speaker yeah that is an improvement the design well you know it's it's a sleeker design so it's, it's a bit of a hard one to sort of judge I mean if you like the rugged look um, you might prefer the FT3 I still think if you've got an FT3 you don't have to get one of these but yeah if you fancy part exchange in it, you'll get £275 for it, maybe a bit less um, from a, a retailer. And then you top up 150 quid, and then you, you go to this model. Um, but they're both very good. We'll come out of that. So... Yeah. Right, back to VHF. Sorry, back to dual mode and single mode. You just hold down the AB button, like so. Y is X, just push this one here, or push it once for group mode, hold it down, and it will try and Y is X, obviously my hotspot isn't connected, but I'll do a separate video on that. Now, just let that sort of time out, so you just turn it off, and when you turn it off and on, nice quick boot up on it, I would say. And I've got my APRS details in there, GPS lock, it's quite good, if you want to see that, just push F menu, Hit the disc and then tap the screen there. 
So I'm learning this radio, but the buttons you're going to use a lot are um, the back button and the F menu button. That's pretty much like a select button as well as a... So you've got the short press and you have this menu here, sub sort of menu, cam feature squelch, you know, some functions there for APRS and go back one. Another menu there, TX power. So you get the idea and if you hold it, you get the main menu and have a look there, similar to the FT3, it's all there. And you definitely need to get your core sign in before you do any fusion recording. Why is X settings there? SD card, yeah, they're both good SD card, group mode, scan, signaling is like all your tones and things. Memory, the way that memories are stored here is a bit different. Um, but the, the, but the, you've got a whole list there, but the, the simple way is when you're in VFO mode like that, just hold down, if we to create a new frequency, literally just hold down the VM button, um, select with the, the knob here, the, it's white, these numbers at the top, red means they're populated, select a white one, hold it down again, and then it gives you the option straight away to tag it or name it. And then once you've tagged it, hold the VM again. It's that simple. And then if you want to go in and play with your memories, you can hit the short button and just go to memory here and you can play around with them. Um, but there's another way of accessing it in the main menu as well. You've got memory here at the top right. So back. So overall, I would say, you know, people are saying, well, should I, if I got an FT3D, should I change? I'm like, well, you don't really need to. The FT3D really is nearly as good as this. They've tweaked, they've tweaked some uh, things on it, mainly the louder speaker, the quick programming of the cam feature, slightly different design. The screen to me might be slightly better, but to me it's the same. Yeah, it ticks a little bit differently, but there isn't a big urgency if you've got an FT3D and you don't want to spend any more money. There isn't a big urgency um, to get this radio because you're missing out. Because, yeah, the speaker is better but you know what it's like if you if you pull off the grommet off the side turn it up louder um then um turn it up louder it, it's it just it still sounds fine the ft3 but yeah this one has got some settings in that makes it a bit more bassy so hold the f menu go to tx rx go to digital there and then you've got audio pitch. Now this is a new bit. You've got low boost, flat, and high boost. So the low boost is more bassier. And I would say that is the thing I say to Ye. So please add that, add those settings into the Yesu FT3. Do a firmware. Give us that low boost, high boost. It must be doable with with um with some firmware. So yeah, seven three. Thanks for looking. I've only had the radio for an hour. So uh. Still, still learning as we go. 7.3, please subscribe if, if you find this helpful. All the best.